What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can play Stadia on your TV without a Chromecast Ultra using your Samsung phone. Plus, you'll be able to use third party wireless controllers too. So let's jump right into it. So first up, in order to achieve this, you need to make sure that you have the following things. A phone that supports Samsung DeX. For anyone who doesn't know what this is, it effectively turns your phone into a mini desktop for use on an external monitor. A phone that currently allows you to play Stadia. A USB-C to HDMI cable. And a wireless Bluetooth controller such as an Xbox or PlayStation controller. Now, you can use your Stadia controller, but there may be an extra peripheral that you'll need to accomplish this which we'll cover later on. Next, plug the USB-C end of your cable into your phone's charge port as shown below. Then take a HDMI cable that is already plugged into your TV and place it into the other side of your cable. Then we want to connect our controller to our phone using Bluetooth. I'm using an Xbox One controller here but the process should be similar for PlayStation 2. Turn on your controller and then turn on your phone's Bluetooth and go to the settings page. If your controller asks to be paired, select OK. If it isn't asking to be paired, then you may need to press the sync button on the controller. Here, it's at the top. Tap the controller entry on your phone to begin connecting. Once your phone is connected, you can press the home button to double check. Now at this point, your phone may ask you if you wish to enable DEX on your phone. If so, select yes. Mine loads automatically. Once DEX is connected, you'll want to enable the option to use your phone as a touchpad so you can navigate. Bluetooth mice work here as well. Either way, your phone should look like a desktop now, as you can see. Click on the six dots in the bottom left to view your installed apps. Find the Stadia app. Mine opens in landscape mode, but if yours opens in portrait, as some do, Look down in the bottom right for the Samsung DeX Labs icon. Make sure the option to force apps to resize is switched on. After which you'll be able to maximise the window just like you would on a normal computer. Ensure that you are choosing to play on this screen in the drop down menu shown here. Then launch your game. I'm going to fast forward a little bit until I'm actually in the game to show you that I haven't cut to another screen. Now you may notice at this point that your audio will be playing from your phone and not your TV. This is an easy fix. Go back to the desktop and in the bottom right look for the volume icon. Make sure the audio output is set to display device. You may need to restart DEX once this has changed if your sound still isn't playing through your TV. Now all that's left to do is to go back into the Stadia app and start playing. That's really all there is to it. Now you'll be able to play Stadia on your TV without a Chromecast and be able to use a third party wireless controller to play with. Now if you'd like to use the official Stadia controller, unfortunately the only way to do it currently using this method is to use a USB-C cable to your phone. But there's a problem, the port is already taken by the HDMI cable. However you can purchase adapters like the one shown on screen now to allow you to plug more than one thing into your phone's USB slot. Using such a peripheral is also advised to make sure your phone is being charged whilst you game, as this can be quite battery intensive, and no one wants your phone to die midway through a game. I'll leave you with some footage of me playing, I was able to play near flawlessly using this method. There were a few hitches here and there, but they were few and far between, and may have been a result of me being quite a way away from my router. Your results may vary though, just make sure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi to give you the best experience and to not eat up your phone's data plan. I hope you found this helpful, if you have any questions or additional information to add, you can find us at stadiasource.com. I'll catch you on the next one guys.